morning, Tara. Uh, quick demo video for you for your Core Banff Dark Saber. Uh, got this done this morning. I've got the pummel off right now, um, but when you get it, of course, it will be on. So it'll be on just like this. You will need to take this off to access your chassis, and you'll take just this uh, screw right here out. Once you take that out, this pops right off. And you'll look in there, and you can see the piece of your chassis right there. Um, that's to put your thumb on. So just put your thumb in it and pull it right out just like that. And this is what it looks like, right? So this is a one button setup. So your main switch is right here. Uh, this is the provided PCB that came with the Sabre from Corbamp. Um, you've got your profi board here. It is adhesed down just with some E6000. So you can pop that up if you need to change some sound fonts around or whatever you want to do and then put it back in. Um, I would suggest using some E6000 because it holds the board nice and it's something that can be lifted if need be. Okay. Um, you've got a kill switch right here for your power. So you don't have to take the battery out if you don't want to. And then you have a removable battery set up right here so you can have multiple batteries. Um, and then lastly, you've got a, a 28 millimeter Smokers Outpost Elite speaker. Uh, this is kind of cocked to the side um, because it needed to, all the sound needed to reach the pummel, which is the only place for the sound venting. And it sounds really good. Um, one thing you can do with the pummel that I'm not going to do uh, because it's small pieces and I don't want to lose it, but you've got this little piece right here. Um, it's on there with two small Phillips head screws. You could take this completely out if you want to and just leave that wide open. Um, and that helps the sound a lot. Okay. But it still sounds good with this on, but it sounds a lot better if you take it off. But for shipping and stuff, I'm going to leave this on here. And then lastly, I've got, you know, your blade right here that will fire up so I can show you that it works as well. Okay. Um, this is my test battery, so don't mind how ripped up it is. I'll send you a brand new one. Um, but there's a certain way to put this in, and I'll show you right now. When you put the battery in, you can. it's easy to see the strip right here because my uh, this has been ripped from trying other sabers. Uh, but there is a strip on every battery that runs from one side all the way to the other. You want that kind of off to the side right here. Just like that. You don't want that inside the chassis because it makes it very tight um, and every little bit of room in this guy counts. Okay, so we'll put this the battery in there. Come over here and flip the switch. Everything's good there and then you want to throw this in. Now when you throw it in, uh, be careful, just don't throw it in, but you don't want to hit these pins, right? But when you put this in, make sure that your little tactile switch right here is on the same side as your main switch. Um, obviously that's how that works. So we'll slide that in, push it all the way in just like that. And then we can come over here and we can put the pummel on. Uh, so this time I'll lock the pummel down. All right. We need to put that screw back in. This does come in a few pieces. So just be careful when you're taking it out. Uh, the screw has, it's the screw and then there's a piece that goes over it. Right. So just be aware of that. But we'll screw that in. Just like that and it'll look like that now your pummel's nice and locked in you come over here and hit activation tap it for blaster bolts right? now you got two different ways to turn this off one you can just twist it or if you don't want to do that you can hold the button down until it turns off or just hold it down Just like that. So either way, um, I didn't give you swing on because there's so much involved with putting this together. All right. Well, we'll throw your blade in here. Your blade only goes in one way. So what you'll want to do is come over here and loosen these two screws. And again, these two screws because it's held in with four. And then we'll slide your blade in. Slide that in and hold the blade all the way down. And then you can come over here and lock these four retention screws. Um, it is best to use all four screws with this blade set up, okay? Um, that way it's nice and sturdy. The same Allen key you use for your pummel, you can use for your retention screws too, so you're all good there. Now we'll come over here and hit power. To uh, 
change sound fonts when the blade when, when the saber's off. It's just a uh, long press on the power. Team C. Now we're into the stock font package, and all these are different colors. Oops. Get blade lock up, you want to hold down the button and hit the saber. And you'll get your blade lock up. And it'll stay like that until you let go of it. Just like that. And we'll do one more. Smooth fuzz. Blade lock up. take the blade out um, although this break this blade did come pre-installed like many of them do um, I often have to take them apart and fix something which was the same on this guy as well um, one of the negative leads was broken uh, and the saber didn't work right so I opened it up rewired it everything's working fine now um, we'll put this off to the side and then we'll go ahead and we'll throw your blade plug in here as well all right Lock that down. Same with your blade plug. Um, everything's working on it fine now. We'll lock this down with all four of the screws again. And this is something that I'll go ahead and I'll just leave in there. Um, and ship it like this so I don't I don't forget it. But once you lock that in. Right, and we'll come over here and take the pummel out and then go over taking the battery out, which is super easy to do. Um, although I am sending you a new battery, I'm gonna take the sticker off of it so that everything fits properly. But we'll take that pummel out again, reach in with your thumb, pull it right out. And then you can either just flip the kill switch, which I'll show you works. Turn it on, come over here and flip the switch and it kills everything or you can come over here from the positive side by the speaker and you can pop it out with your finger just like that. Um, but that's basically your dark saber. Let me know if you got any questions and um, if not, this guy will go out in the mail to you Tuesday because Monday is a holiday. Okay, thank you.